We're about to take you inside the mind of a car thief. New research has revealed how they operate, the Perth suburbs they hit the most, even which cars they target. Thieves are lazy and they will take the easiest option there. Neil Royal spent 42 years working as a police officer, so he knows a thing or two about crooks. They're not stupid, they'll, they'll canvas places and look for weak spots and pick out the likely targets. The straight-talking former inspector says protecting your car is about being smart. It's a raffle and a lottery. Uh, if you come back from work and it's here, it's a bonus. Last year, that lottery saw almost 6,000 cars stolen across Perth. The hotspots are the city of Stirling, where 568 cars were stolen last year. That's almost 200 more than second place Wanneroo. 320 cars went missing in the city of Gosnells. Thieves stole 302 cars within the city of Swan. Belmont, Rockingham, Armadale, Coburn, Joondalup and Bayswater all ranked in the top 10. More than 70% of stolen cars are taken from the home or street. Neil Royal says choosing where you park is the first line of defence against thieves. Neil, why are these cars vulnerable? This is pretty much a standout here. The vegetation, very thick around the place, uh, lack of lighting at both ends. These cars are all here obviously for long term during the course of the day. Smorgasbord for car thieves. Cars parked in the carport or garage account for 63% of thefts. 14% are stolen from outside businesses, 11% are stolen from on the street, 2% are taken at shopping centres. But simple things can make a difference. So here we go, shade screens up, dead giveaway to the budding car thief that someone's here for a while, so you've got some time to work on this car. Sometimes it just comes down to what type of vehicle you drive. The VE Commodore, built between 2006 and 2013, tops the list of cars stolen in Perth. So I don't know whether VE stands for very easy to pinch. This stolen VE Commodore became the focus of a dangerous high-speed police pursuit. From Lockridge, through Balga, Morley and Bayswater, the thief was caught, but that didn't help the car's owner, Duncan Ashworth. Horrible. It's, it's, it's disgraceful what they're doing. Most will be recovered, um, more than 70% will be recovered, often not in the condition that you'd be happy with. Last year, 542 Commodores were stolen in Perth. 181 of those were VE models. 104 were VY models, built between 2002 and 2004. Also popular amongst thieves, the Toyota Hilux, the Commodore VT and VX models and the Ford Falcon BA. The seventh most stolen car was a Toyota Land Cruiser, followed by the VZ Commodore, Nissan Patrol and Land Cruiser 70 Series. They're big sellers, so there's lots of them, uh, but there's also certainly some cultural issues around the Commodore and young men, uh, and so they're, they're popular targets. And it's not just cars that thieves are after. Of all the motorbikes that were stolen across Australia last year, almost one third went missing from right here in WA there, put in neutral, pushed off the centre stand, either go that way or that way and put it on the back of a ute. And car security systems have forced car thieves to break into homes to get their hands on the keys. Look after your keys. If the thieves can't get access to the keys, uh, they can't get access to the car. Um, make sure you lock your doors and windows and don't leave keys on display uh, within sight of doors and windows. Michael Genovese, Nine News.